Ah, guys, there's nothing I love more than chilling out by the waterfall. Be one with nature. Look at the beautiful trees. Can you hear the birds tweeting? Tweet, 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 tweet. The waterfall running. Blah, 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 blah. Yes, guys. Anyway, enough of that. Kaboom. Welcome to my Made Simple Attack Strategy series, guys. This is where we find the best attack strategies and we make them simple. We break them down and make them easy to use. And today, guys, we've got a stunning attack strategy. It doesn't matter if you face an anti three star base, war base, trophy base, ring base, whatever you want to call them, this army has it covered. So we're going to head back now, check out the army composition, then we're going to watch some awesome Legend League replays so I can show you how to use this strategy. So first of all then, yes, here it is. It, it's not going to be called Double Trouble. Let's delete that out of there. We need to rename this army. So there we go. We're going to call it. Are you ready? Yeti. Yeti Tim. I don't know who Tim is now, of course. Yeti Time! Exclamation mark. Let's meet the troops then. As you can see, it's nice and simple, guys. Twelve Yetis, four healers, and two wizards. That's the troops, guys. That's all we need. Your spells are going to be four earthquake spells and one jump spell. That means it doesn't matter if we face those nasty anti-three star bases. We have it covered. One poison spell, two freeze, and one rage spell. Your donated clan castle troops is going to be two yetis, one valk, and a barbarian by the name of Bob. Donated CC spell will be a rage spell, and normally you're going to be using some siege barracks, guys. That's the army! Awesome! We're going to check out some replays now. I'll show you how to use it, guys. Do remember to hit that subscribe button and join the Samus Army for more awesome attack strategy guys and the best Town Hall 13 bases. Let's go. Kaboom! So here's the first replay then guys. We've got three awesome replays for you today. Make sure you watch them all so you get a full understanding of how to use this strategy. So of course the first stage of any attack is the funnel guys. I like using Gary the Grand Warden on one side of my funnel with four healers. On the other side a couple of yetis. But quite a few of you said, listen to Moose, we don't like doing a Grand Warden walk. That's fine, just use a couple of Yetis. Each side is equally effective. So I put a jump spell down on the enemy Grand Warden. That's where I want my troops to enter the base. Then four Earthquake spells to open up the rest of the base. Grand Warden is doing a great job. Yetis to the left of him, clearing that side. So just need to be patient and wait. Want to take out that mortar there. And then we put the King down to take care of that nasty Tesla farm. Siege barracks down. The rest of the Yetis are going in now. There we go. And it's just about now, just thinking ahead. Where are you going to put your Rage Spell to help your troops? When are you going to use the Grand Warden ability? And of course, the next stage after that, taking down the Town Hall, is thinking, where are you going to use your Royal Champion? Because more often than not, guys, the Royal Champion is the key to three stars. Enemy troops are out. Witches, Ice Golems. Let's poison those guys. And this is looking okay. Just need to get our troops into the base now. Royal Champion is, is just running in. She's come out of the woods. And the Queen, unfortunately, hasn't gone into the base. But that doesn't matter. Sometimes it's beneficial to have the Queen clearing the perimeter. You've got those two free spells. They're really important because if the Royal Champion runs into a single target Inferno, she is in trouble. So just keep them back if you need them. So we're just moving around the base. Royal Champion's doing a great job. Still got her ability left. Still got one free spell and the Queen ability. Some Yeti Mites have just taken out that single target Inferno at the bottom. That's great. That's really going to help. And yeah, guys, this army is just awesome. Because it doesn't matter, like I said before, if it's a ring base, anti-three star base. Because you've got those Earthquake spells and that jump spell, you can take them out. And it's really easy to use. So the Royal Champion, like I said, doing a great job. Without her, this would definitely be a two star attack. Definitely. So what's going on in the battlefield? Queen is just sort of... I mean, the Queen's having a bit of a lazy day, if I'm honest. She's, she's helping out, but the Royal Champion's doing all the work. Still got that free spell left. And guys, this replay does not end how you'd expect. That's all I'm going to say. I should really use the free spell now on the expo, shouldn't I? But no, I've got confidence the Royal Champion will be okay. But I missed... Look down there, there's a cannon. Will the Royal Champion survive without a free spell? Will she survive? Yes, we've left the Royal Champion on about one health, so it's just clean up now, guys. Do you think we've got enough time left to clean up this base? Um, and I'm not talking about hoovering the base, you know, cutting the grass. I mean, destroying the buildings and getting three stars. So, yeah, but about this time I was like, this is an easy three stars. I've just frozen, uh, frozen that storage up there for auto four stars, but it's not going to work out. So I just need to take out that storage. We've got 11 seconds left. At this point, I was, I was starting to worry. I was thinking, we're not going to take out this base. Then the Royal Champion's there. Excellent. We've got it in the bag. But then the Royal Champion, after all that hard work, turns around, guys, and takes out those skeletons. And yes, there you go, guys. 99%. Some of you asked me, you said, Samus, 
can you please show some of the replays where you don't get three stars or it goes slightly wrong? So I think in that replay, I probably just took a bit too long with the Grand Warden walk at the beginning. Anyway, here's another replay from one of my clan mates. And you might recognise this base is really nasty and difficult to take down, but not with this strategy, guys. So four Earthquake spells have been dropped on the Town Hall. Don't worry, sometimes it's okay to activate the Town Hall. It draws the troops towards it. Yeti's up there at the top, and then the main bulk of Yetis are going in to take out that nasty Tesla farm and those heroes. Don't be scared of that corner. I know it's intimidating. Siege Barracks down. Poison Spell down. Let's push the troops into the base. Take out that Town Hall. The annoying Lava Pups, they're so annoying. Yeah, it's just, a, I mean, th in this case, it is a bit of a spam attack. We need to push into that base. But look, the Royal Champion still hasn't been used. That's why important to keep her back. See where you need her later on. Got those couple of free spells as well, of course. So the Town Hall's down. It's now about getting the troops into the base. So look, a jump spell has been placed on the Eagle Artillery. That's perfectly placed jump spell. Out come the CC troops from the Siege Barracks and the Royal Champion. There she is at the bottom of the screen. So can she push through the base and help? There's a single target Inferno down there. We need to watch out for that. It's got hold of the Pekka, but we've frozen it. So what's going to happen? This is crucial, this part of the attack now. So yet the Royal Champion has been targeted. So what is going to happen, guys? Freeze spell, yes. That's why it's so important to have them. So she's cleared that corner. That is fantastic. Elsewhere on the battlefield, Gary the Grand Warden is having a great time. The Queen's really helping out as well. So this is good. And again... I keep saying it, but the Royal Champion is the key here. If she would have been taken out by that single target Inferno there, it would have been game over. That's why just one spell selection makes or breaks a strategy. If we didn't have those three spells, had another Rage spell, yeah, it wouldn't work. Look at that Frisbee flying through the air, taking out uh, all those defences. And yeah, we're going to lose the Royal Champion here, aren't we? We've got no free spells, and unfortunately she is going to be Inferno'd. Yeah. Good night. Sorry, Royal Champion, but it doesn't matter. The Grand Warden took the, took the Inferno Tower out, and there we go. You know, just clean up time now. Are we going to run out of time again, though? I'm not going to tell you guys. What do you think? Is this going to be a 99% again? Um, all the troops are going to just run over to the waterfall and go for a swim and leave us on 99%. And, guys, we are going to run out of time again, unfortunately. 99%. Uh, it's still good, but uh, it could be better. So it was very close again. Ha <laughs> ha, I'm joking. No chance. Three stars. Yes, three stars. So uh, on to our last replay. What do we got here? Yes, centralised town hall base. Yeah, this one's a bit different, isn't it? So even with these bases, the four healers are key. Because if you've got these bases with a centralised town hall and you don't have any healers, you can't do a Grand Warden walk. So I do think it is important for these sorts of bases that you do start with a Grand Warden walk, guys. If you're not sure how to do it, ask me in video comments. I'll help you out. But you need to clear one side with a Grand Warden. Then use perhaps a jump spell there on the other side and let the King go in with a couple of Yetis or the Siege Barracks and clear the other side. It's really important because otherwise if you put your troops in, they're just going to go left and right and ignore the core of the base and you're going to get one star. So these bases do take practice. But the strategy is perfect for them. So four Earthquake spells there, opening up the core of the base, doing some damage to those structures. That's great. This is looking good. Yeah, guys. So today, guys, I normally put a secret code word in my videos and ask you to go to the video comments and put that secret code word there. Then I reply to each and every one of you that does. Today's secret code word, guys, is Royal Champion because she is awesome. So what's going on? Let's have a look at the battle here. So uh, if in doubt, just put the Yetis down and let them break through the wall. So we've cleared the right with the Grand Warden. We've cleared the left with the King uh, and the Siege Barracks there. And now those troops are going to go into the core of the base. That's exactly what we want. I've just decided to put the Royal Champion in to help out because I couldn't think of a safe place for her to go. So she's just helping with the main attack. Those nasty um, lava hounds. And I forgot to poison them. Guys, I always forget to poison things. Seriously. But those lava hounds are just being a menace down there and I've just letting them get away with it. There we go. Finally, I realise, and I think I put the poison spell down. I missed them all. Yep, I miss all the lava pups. One job, Sir Moose. That's all I had was one job. And uh, we missed it. But anyway, the town hall's down. Get rid of all those nasty structures around the town hall, yes. And then it's just about... I mean, there's nothing we can do now. We've got the queen ability. Uh, we've got one wizard which I've put on the battlefield. I don't know where. Normally, of course, we have Mike the Minion, guys. Mike the Minion is on holiday at the moment. So um, he said he just needed some time off. Uh, so I said, that's okay. It's fine. We'll do an attack strategy without you, Mike. But uh, he will be back, don't worry. So, of course, guys, do remember, 
that we've got loads more attack strategies. Check out my uh, Made Simple Attack Strategy series. Loads of awesome attacks there. And look at the health of that Royal Champion. Wow. Basically, uh, you know, a blade of grass at this moment. If it touched her foot, it could take her out. Wow. Yeah, no health whatsoever. But that's how I planned it, of course. Um, if you're new to the channel, guys, you're still watching, hit the subscribe button. We've got loads and loads of awesome stuff. Stop. Stuff coming up trust me three seconds two seconds kaboom three stars and look at the gr i can't uh, guys i can't talk and it's the end of the video and i bet you're thinking wow he was good and then he's, he's lost the ability to talk near the end anyway i'm behind the end screen now guys hit that subscribe button other videos to watch let me know what you think in the video comments and remember the secret code word so moose signing out have a nice day i'll catch you later